Citadel Tower. I think we're already at Citadel Tower. Is that literally the way I just ran back and forth from? You could just do it with like a speed jump with a loading screen? Okay, back to the tower. Saren's hiding something. All that. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Mm. Really? Hi, how you doing? Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. All right. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Was? Well, you said was, but I'm more interested in what you found, first of all. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Well, yeah, Most of his activities that. are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. I like your eye patch. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. No. Maybe they'll listen I have three more dialogue questions. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Yes, I do. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Yes, I do. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Fine. Ah. <sighs> I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. I assume before he says all the way up, but there's nothing on my... You! 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 You're not busy! Talk to me! Talk to me! You're yeah, but you're not busy! Damn keepers. You don't talk to old people, but you can talk to me. I've got a comm link in my head and everything. The hearing's already started. Come on. We really shouldn't be carrying out guns. I mean, if he's in a dress uniform, shouldn't we be in a dress uniform? The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. Mm. I resent Go these up. accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. That was You're the you. one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Nah. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? <laughs> Insults. Typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. We've learned our place. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. Well, then go away then. Humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Quit protecting him. Saren's hiding behind his position as a specter. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. Eyewitness. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? Obviously. Why not? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the point? You're not going to see it anyway. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Hey, you're the asses about it. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Yeah, I bet you were. This meeting <clears throat> is adjourned. I need a favour, by the way, to deal with the ward. <laughs> That's a stupid little power play bridge system. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. Your choice. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason: to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. Yes. I what is it? Tell me what it is. A long time ago. Mm. Things went bad. Real bad. Sounds like it. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Okay, well, the council will help us, so... 
We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. Not a bullet. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. What about him? That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. He also said the phrase, I was the investigator. I'll go talk to him. See if we can get any intel out of him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. Okay. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Hee <laughs> I'm on it. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Sorry, Captain. I'll do you for Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Do you want me to go see him? I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. But you and Saren. You and Saren have a I'm history. I'm interested now. What happened? About 20 years ago. Okay. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. Ooh, really? I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Ah. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just... Covered it all up. Well, that's what happens, respect. I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So he's a monster. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. True. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. Yes, but... But only if there's no other wrong. way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken... He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. We will lead before I go. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Ah, he Rumor might Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Ooh. An information the Shadow dealer. Broker. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might be good at buying Saren, secrets if you know. But his information won't come cheap. Well, give me some money I then. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay. Good to know. Can we have a faster lift, please? Thank you. Let's go. Alright. Um look at that bug thing over there. Oh I'll leave him. Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. But I want to disturb the keepers. They are amazing. All right, I need to I talk to you. Welcome <coughs> to Presidium Tourism Terminal Two. Hi. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Uh huh. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument. A scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. Who are they? What are they doing? Why? Do are they them in any way. slaves? Ooh. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Who are the keepers? I am good to know, know about, about the keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. It seems odd. Citadel regulations protect the keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Can I speak to one who's not Keepers working Keepers can then? be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Why? Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Makes sense. Many of the station systems, sense, actually. such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself. 
Though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. Okay, I have a question. You're on a spaceship that's moving, and life support and navigation are done automatically through a species that doesn't communicate. Where's the nearest shuttle? Uh, no. Please do not disturb the keepers. I will always try. There you are. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What the hell's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Really? So you need to have a permit to talk your mind? Reason, reason for what permit? What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. Uh -huh. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Why not make it an open system, but you do it in that place, rather than having a license? If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to Because try. I'm a people person! Hello! Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's the problem? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. So? What to purchase a permit? Permit? If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? Yeah. The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Got to agree with him on that one. Who are the Enkindlers? Yes. Are your they people like God know them people? as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Alright, so the scientists. Oh, okay. Engineers, you know. This isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? Yeah, really? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. So? This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Ooh, okay. A little less trouble anyway. Really? I have literally I can buy your permit or goodbye. That's my that's my two options. Well, let's go with the permit, shall we? Might want to help people out. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. Quite true. Freedom of speech. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. You do now, my friend. 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. No, I believe in freedom of speech. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. You're very much welcome, my friend. Also, you Pete in magical and can teleport away. Hey! Big mouth! I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Mm, not a problem. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance. 150 credits, by chance? Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. <laughs> is everybody here magic? Ah! I'm supposed to chase him down if he just magics himself away. We were almost at the arrow before, but we're getting close to the arrow. To the wards, 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 to the wards. And down this way. And then doors open. Magic doors. And another lift. Boop. Down we go. Guys. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. 
Every time I think I have a handle on things, freak somebody out in a, a lift. Just to get in, turn around and stand facing well, them. Don't let anybody they will know. Freak out and just the look, look at the cat. Look at you. The cat look away from you. Like, ah, ah. <laughs> well, uh, must keep going. Could you get out of the way? It's the door there. Move. Fine. What, really? Another one? No. That looks like what it says. To the wards! Ooh. I've been down here before. Hey, hey, hey. Don't talk to me. Don't talk. Come on, you know you want to. Not really my kind of place, but there sure are some spectacular views here. Really? It looks like a maintenance shaft. Especially that bit. But we can always snoop around. Look at your mech suit. Door control! I have no idea where I am, but I seem to just look into an underground area. Citadel Rapid Transport. The lower markets. Oh, right, that's a dead end. That's a dead end. Okay. Rapid transport, you say? That's her. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Get your left. Get your left. Come on. Thank you. Why are we not on the rifle? Right, rifle from the three. you again. It didn't work. Okay. I don't know whether to trust this as uh, a secure just yet. Let's move on slowly. I had the wrong gun out at the beginning, but it's okay. The good news... Big gun away, guys. Just in case. Alright. Alright. 